There's actually no lane markings on this road. The lines disappear in the middle of the road. Okay, so Autopilot didn't like that, but it got itself back into the lane correctly. That left tires are just going straight into the water. Oh my. Welcome back to Tesla Driver, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, we're actually going to be driving out through this storm. So we've just had a hailstorm come down. I'm sorry, I've got to talk really loud. Uh, we've just had a hailstorm start coming down, and I wanted to see how the autopilot system would work through it. So as you can see, it is pouring it down. I'm going to turn auto wipers off and just put the wipers on. Um, it is getting so loud in here. And just to see how well it works in the rain here. So sorry I don't have the front camera on. I hope that you can actually see the dash itself. And you can see autopilot working. Actually, can you see the dash? I'm not 100% sure. But I just wanted to show you it in like a, in a big storm like this. Uh, there you go. Now you can see the dash, I think. Now you can see the dash. So I don't have the other camera with me, so I can't put it up there. But I didn't want to miss this chance with all this rain. So this is a pretty simple route. This is a route back to Kaun, where again, I currently live. It's a route I do constantly, and I do constantly in autopilot. And I've got to say, it's doing this really, really well. We're coming into a 30, so I'm gonna bring it down to the speed limit. But you can see the rain is coming down super hard. It's getting really, really dark. We had hails for a bit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to see, you know, how, how this affected the autopilot system. So going through Lineham here, We've got a couple of roundabouts that I'll have to navigate around. But autopilot was really solid around those corners, which was really nice to see. And it seems uh, seems to be taking the wet weather in its stride. Oh, there's another Model X and they waved. Oh, they actually waved. That's so cool. I love it when other, other um, Teslas wave. So thank you, whoever that Model X was. Hopefully you watch the videos as well. Uh, but yeah, you can see, look at the clouds. It's super horrible, super miserable. The rain's dying down a little bit, but trust me, it will pick back up uh, in a second. But through the town here, we're not getting any puddles or anything on the floor, so that's quite good. So at least we're seeing straight through there. Uh, but I'm wondering if the, the cameras are going to get maybe, I don't know, just too wet, or we're going to get some warnings saying like the blind spots aren't working. All of those kind of things might crop up. We've had some pretty bad weather recently, but we're due the worst weather in... What the heck is he carrying? Oh, he's got canoes. He's definitely ready for the bad weather. Um, but yeah, we're expecting kind of the worst weather to come pretty much now. So we've got to uh, we've got to prepare for it. So I've turned autopilot off here just so I can navigate the roundabout because obviously it can't do the roundabouts. And then as we come back out here, I will put it on. There we go. So I'm actually starting to lose some of the lines here in front of us. Uh, I've actually lost the lines completely and it's it's starting to drift us over to the right. It's seen the lines again, so it's just brought us back in there to the left lane and it's doing this bit fine. But the oh, it's really, really getting wet. There's a lot of water coming down. We've got a car coming out and my car's decided to break. We've gone down to 24 and it's picking speed back up again. But oh my God, is it wet. There's actually no lane markings on this road. So I'm really intrigued to see how well the autopilot does this in the rain as well. So far, it seems to be doing fine. Uh, it's picking up speed to the speed limit of 50. Again, there's no lines in the middle of the road, no lines on the left side of the road. And it's so stormy and it's really, really loud, but it's doing it. And I don't quite know how it's doing it because there's nothing for it to go by. There we go. We've got some lines reappear just there. Don't forget, if this is blue down here, it means that I'm not in control. I'm just having to shout a little bit because in here it is so loud. I hope it's coming through on the camera like that. Oh my God, I might have to turn the wipers up to max. Yeah, maybe not, that's just silly. And again, the lines disappear in the middle of the road. Okay, so autopilot didn't like that, but it got itself back into the lane correctly. And it's still doing it fine. We're gonna slow down here as we get into this 40. The lines are disappearing. The road's so shiny that it can... Well, I mean, it's still seeing it and it's still doing the corners fine, to be honest, which is really promising because I'm really struggling to see. Okay, so I took it off there because it was going slightly too far left. It just kept on creeping over to the left and obviously I didn't want it to curve as it went around that corner. 
I've got to turn the aircon on because I always turn the aircon off when I'm recording so that the noise doesn't come through, but you can see it's slightly fogging up inside. But don't worry, even if the inside windows here were completely covered with a sheet of, I don't know, tarpaulin, uh, this would still work, don't forget. It still would work. But, oh, it's actually a mix of steam and fog. So that is a mix of steam and fog that we're seeing. Sorry about that, my GoPro died at literally the worst time, but we're plugged in now and it, it should be okay. So the storm is dying down a little bit, like not masses, but it is dying down a little bit. But I've got to say, I'm really, really impressed. The car has dealt so well with all of this. Uh, and I am, yeah, really, really impressed with it all. It is being a little bit more aggressive on its braking and accelerating, but that's obviously quite a good thing because it does need to do that to make sure it's nice and safe. So we're coming back out here into a 50. So I'm gonna speed up to the speed limit. But yeah, so we're getting a little bit of fog. The fog is, is clearing a little bit though. And we were getting a little bit of mist from the windows. But you can see it's really, it's still really, really wet. And we're getting a lot of surface water. So what I'm intrigued to find out is whether the surface water actually makes a difference. So you know sometimes when you go through a, a big puddle or something, it will pull the car towards the puddle, or it could actually pull the car left or right or whatever way. Can what does autopilot do when that happens? You know, does it counteract it? Does it affect it at all? So far, I've got to say, no, nothing really has been affected. I'm actually going to set this to four behind the car in front. It's just a little bit close. I want it to be nice and far away, just in case we need to break or anything. But yeah, it's doing it really nicely. So we've got a couple of uh, 60 mile an hour bends here. We're currently doing 50 around them. But you can see the spray coming from the cars in front is making it really, really hard for just us to see the lines. So I'm really impressed with how Autopilot is dealing with all this. So here we've got some big puddles. Yeah, it's pulling the car, but the car is staying nice and straight. I appreciate you guys can't feel when I go through a puddle for the car to pull, but you can see the car in front do big splashes. You can hear it hopefully like there, and it is just pulling the car in, but the car's actually acting nicely and it's not being sucked in by any of them. So you see here, we're going through loads of big puddles. That left tires are just going straight into the water. Oh my God. You see that just come up on the screen there? Had so much water just splash up onto the screen from, uh, from the puddles. But again, it didn't affect the system at all. The system was fine with it. Now this is gonna be interesting. So we're going through Khan. Uh, which obviously I live and I've done videos here before. Uh, let's see how it deals in the rain through the town. So we're gonna have to take it off autopilot here to do the uh, do the roundabout. But we can put it back on once we've done the roundabout. And, oh no, it doesn't wanna do it. It's not seeing the middle line. To be fair, I can't see the middle road line either. Oh, there it is. Oh no, it doesn't wanna do it. So you see it's really, causing issues for it here in the rain it's still not seeing any lines still not seeing any lines it's not seeing anything so we're going just like straight down this road and the car is categorically telling me categorically telling me it won't work and it won't do autopilot so that's quite interesting but obviously that's not good we do it does need to work in every single condition because we drive in every single condition, obviously. Now we have got some more obvious lines. That, uh, it did pick it up for a split second. But again, we're going through so much water here. Now this says it's a 30, but it's not. It's a 40 until now. Now it's a 30. And again, we're taking control around the roundabout. So yeah, whenever it's blue down here, it means that the car is in fact in control. If it's gray like now, obviously I am in control. Wow, this rain is coming down so hard. Okay, we've got a cyclist in front of us with no lights on. Oh, okay, he's going up onto the pavement. That was pretty risky. And he's in this rain. Thank you. Don't know why I say thank you. I always say thank you. Again, I can't see the central line here and the car can't because it doesn't want to autopilot down here. Where it normally always autopilots down this road. But right now, what if I turn the wipers to max? Let's see if that makes any difference doesn't seem to be because it's not seeing any central lines and it is not uh, not following 
at all. I'm gonna let this car come all the way and I'm gonna turn my wipers down. And hopefully by sitting here, it's gonna be like, oh, okay, now I can actually see the, um, I can actually see the line. So like you've got this kind of water line almost down the middle of the road here, which is what I'm hoping it's gonna like pick up. But look at this, no, it's not picking any of it up. So autopilot in a storm through a town does not work. And it is not picking up. No, still not picking anything up. Okay, so let's go through the center of town here. We do go into a 20 and I won't use autopilot through here just because it is pretty hectic and I imagine people are gonna be running across the road for shelter and you know, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna be a little bit careful about it all. But funny enough, it's actually saying, yeah, I, I can do it here. I couldn't do it uh, back on that straight road, but you want me to do it here? Yeah, I'll definitely, definitely be able to autopilot. Okay, we could turn it on again once we go past this kind of one-way junction. Uh, but yeah, as I expected, there's people like running around, like, you know, trying to get shelter and stuff. So it's definitely not the, the wisest place and the wisest time to use it. So we're going to be going through here and turning left and doing actually the same route that some people complain to me about online for doing. Look at them running to the pub for shelter. I love it. Definitely the place you want to go. So we're going to be going down that road again and seeing how well it works down there. Okay, here we go. So I've done it here before and again, it worked fine. Uh-huh, it's not wanting to do it. No, it's not wanting to. It, it sees it for a split second, but I assume, well, I can only assume that because of the rain, it kind of gives up. Yeah, look at that, still not doing it. And you'll remember we actually autopiloted through this whole thing. You go, girl, you keep riding that bike through any kind of weather, I guess. Yeah, it's still not wanting to pick up autopilot. And obviously we're at a roundabout anyway, so it, it wouldn't. But after this, we do know that we normally can turn on autopilot and let's see how it does through storms. Okay, so we can normally pick it up here uh, because it likes to follow the, the left line. So we've got like a nice double line on the left that it normally follows. Yeah, okay, it's available and it's doing it. All right, brilliant. So we've got autopilot on and it is working and it's braking for the car in front nicely. I'm keeping my hand on top because in these kind of conditions, I think I need to be even more vigilant than I normally am. But you can see it's keeping actually nice to the left-hand side of the road, which I'm happy about. It's going a little bit left, right, left, right, left, right. We've got a car here indicating to turn left. So I'll let that car turn left and then we're gonna be going on anyway. But obviously we've got a van here, so I'm gonna to have to take it out of autopilot and work around the cars. Because again, autopilot can't see cars on the side of the road as a parked car. It still thinks of it as a car in traffic. Okay, back onto autopilot for this final little stretch here. Now this is a wide road, but we should be quite close to the left. There we go, it's tucking in quite nicely there to the left-hand side. But again, with all the surface water, it's making it pretty hard to see the lines, except these nice zigzags that it saw quite easily. And again, nice wide road with lines in the middle, but now there are no lines on this road. No lines, all the way down there is where the lines start, and it did it no problem, that was good to see. So it seems to be a really mixed bag in the rain. It's like great and awful at the same time. Actually, it wasn't awful, but it, it's been pretty good most of the time. So we've got cars coming onto our side of the road and the car slammed on for it and I took it off of autopilot. And yeah, so there we go. We're gonna have to take it off again because of this car in front. So I thought you'd enjoy this, a little bit of storm action. Let me know down below in the comments. Until next time, thank you for watching and don't forget, drive safe.